Hey everyone, Gazrax here from the bands Sunburst, Suicidal Angels and Black Fate and this is a video lesson exclusively for Guitar Summit. Unfortunately, due to the pandemic, Guitar Summit 2020 couldn't take place in Mannheim this year, but even under those circumstances, uh, there is a digital uh, version of it happening this year and this video is going to be a part of it. In this video, I'm going to play with my uh, signature model number 2 from Siggy Brown Guitars uh, and I'm going to be demonstrating uh, an arpeggio section from my band's Black Fate new album called Ithaca and the arpeggio section is off from the song Fortress of Solitude. So, this video is going to be a masterclass in sweet painting. So, no more introduction, let's get down to business. I'm gonna be playing now the uh, arpeggio section uh, in full speed and then I'm gonna be breaking down in detail for all of you and also give you a little bit of a different uh, angles to see my right hand, my left hand and also give you some uh, practicing tips both for this um, arpeggio section but generally for sweep picking and your practicing as well. So let's see that. <laughs> So, uh, time to break down uh, what I just did. I'm going to explain what happens in every single arpeggio. Uh, and of course, I'm going to perform uh, the whole uh, arpeggio section for all of you in slower tempos so that you have an exact uh, view of what's happening. So, let's start with the first arpeggio, which is an E minor. Uh, we're starting here on the 14th fret and it goes like this. And then we're going to move in a different uh, E minor shape, this one. And that's the first E minor arpeggio. I'm gonna play the whole thing now, the, the whole E minor arpeggio. Be very, very careful in that, in that transition from the one shape to, to the other is always a very tricky part and especially since we're going to the uh, 24th fret. Uh, oh, and uh, to this point, it's also a good advice to uh, uh, also tell you that if you don't have a 24 fret guitar, it's no problem. If you can start this arpeggio section, for example, two frets lower and you can still do it in a 22 or even a 21 fret guitar. So, okay, once again the E minor arpeggio and then I'm going to move to the next one. That was a C major. And one more uh, C major sh shape. Going to A minor. And B major. was the first, uh, uh, let's say, circle of arpeggios. So I'm gonna play that in slow speed. And now, uh, once again, E minor. Now A minor and now the, our B major is going to uh, be a little bit different. We're going to uh, use even more shapes of that and uh, we're going to start on the same spot. And last one. And 
and finishing with a bend on the 23rd fret. Uh, and once again now, the whole second turn of uh, the arpeggio section. <laughs> So, uh, right now I'm going to show you once again the arpeggio section from here so that you can see a little bit what's happening from a different angle, both my left hand and my right hand. Um, and yeah, let's go to the arpeggio section and play it slowly. Uh, make sure that you uh, play each note separately and uh, try to be as clean as possible, mute with both hands, right hand is very very important on that, but also uh, our left hand uh, must do some muting and we have to be very very precise so that you don't have any uh, unwanted noise. One extra tip is for the right hand, try to sweep and not to play uh, each string like uh, jumping, that's always something funny to, that I say to my students like don't, don't do that, you have to, to have that smooth down and up sweep. Uh, movement, all right? So let's see that once again. and faster. Alright, and uh, now one more from this side. Uh, this one is going to give you a little bit of a better view of what's happening on my right hand. And hope that helps. Let's see the arpeggio section once again, slowly. And one last fast attempt from this side. All right, guys, that was it. That was the arpeggio section from. Uh, the song Fortress of Solitude. I really hope you enjoyed it. Uh, and if you give this a try, uh, I wish you best of luck and uh, I really hope that you will have some great benefit from practicing it. At this point, I would like to say a huge thank you to Guitar Summit for having me here and of course to Mr. Siggy Brown and everyone at the Siggy Brown Guitars family for creating me the best guitars in the world and of course for our friendship and ongoing cooperation for the last five years. Thank you for watching this video and I really hope that the whole pandemic madness is going to end soon and that we'll see each other on the next Guitar Summit. Until then, take care and stay safe.